It's really important, I think, uh, this term meditation, or especially Taoist meditation, they have a lot of unique techniques um, and approaches to meditation. The, in my experience, it's very important. The most important uh, thing to understand about Taoist meditation is to really engage in the preparation practice preparation work, okay? Um, otherwise, you can get into what the Taoist term dead sitting, they use the term dead sitting. And so they want living sitting or lively sitting, which means you're going to have a very he healthy energetic body, your energetic system will be very healthy and open so that there's energy, a natural energy circulation that happens while the body is still. And this is a very important understanding that uh, Taoist meditation is about energy circulation happening while your body is not moving. Okay. Now, for, for energetic circulation to happen, there has to be a few conditions present. So the, uh, one of the principal conditions would be the meridian system is open and al also healthy, and which means and this is something I think unless you've practiced a long time or you've had a teacher teach you, people don't understand. A lot of people, for example, will not have a complete meridian system present in their body. So like we talk about lung meridian is here, but different people, different lifestyle condition, there can be uh, sections of the lung meridian that are like missing or co collapsed. They're like a, the meridians collapsed. This is like we could think like a, a blocked artery in our vascular system. We can have a uh, we can have blood clots, for example, or we can have a blocked artery with cholesterol and fat. And so the the same thing happens in our meridian system. But because we can physically live with partial meridians or like that, or maybe we have some hand pain or we get pain in some part of the body, but we keep on going. We don't uh, pay so much attention to that generally people. Um, and if we, if we also, if we look at elderly people, we really see um, that would start to really show the physical symptoms. You know, people, they lose uh, part of one arm movement, you know, the arm seizes up and they're an elder person is, is, you know, walking like this or, or the hear the hearing stops or even eyesight stops or people's ability to move the tongue and to speak stops. And, and these, these things happen that we can observe in elder people. From, from the Taoist view, we would understand that before those physical things happened, there were ch slow changes which took place in the energetic system, in the meridian system, okay? And so if we just do silent sitting from the beginning, it won't really, it can be good concentration practice or discipline. It's very good for that um, if you just sit. But if we understand the Taoist view and the Taoist perspective, uh, that's not their goal or aim. Okay. And so this is why um, we're, we're teaching all of these preparation practices and these stretches and these movements, which if, if you went to China, for example, you went to a temple, you really be difficult actually to find a lot of these methods. They're not, not so readily taught um, or easy to find. And this is, if you really master these preparation practices, you're going to really get a very strong meridian system, a full complete meridian system. And my teacher, he used to always term uh, these two, two distinct stages. So one is we open all of the 12 organ meridians and especially the eight spiritual meridians or sometimes called the eight psychic meridians, okay? These are the deeper, like for example, we have a center channel, okay? Where we talk about the microcosmic orbit or the small water wheel, small heavenly cycle. This is the yin and yang energy circulates in a, in a circuit up the back and down the front. 
And these are what we call the psychic meridians or the spiritual meridians. And these are uh, vessels which store energy, also vessels which energy can circulate and transform and change. So energy can be refined or changed within these the psychic meridians. The psychic meridians are also uh, reservoirs and vessels which will supply energy to the 12 organ meridians when the 12 organ meridians are, are out of balance or there's an energy deficiency, okay? So really, if we understand that, the, the eight psychic meridians or the eight spiritual vessels are almost in a way more important than the 12 organ meridians. We can also understand the eight psychic vessels are a pre-birth meridian. They develop um, in utero as the fetus is growing, these meridians are developing like that. And even in, in, in how I teach, they, we talk about, they even start forming um, at cellular division level, okay? So these are very like a primordial, uh, prenatal, pre-birth um, meridian system, okay? And so a lot of these movements are also designed just to pump energy through these uh, vessels. And so then this condition, when we, when we work and move energy like this, the meridian systems will unite. It becomes like a one circuit or one meridian system. So we wanna reach this kind of, of condition. And then when you have a very strong and healthy meridian system and your energy, your chi energy is also built up, you've rebuilt lost energy. And then when you sit, the body is still, but the inside is very, there's a very dynamic uh, vibration and also energetic flow and movement. And so then we keep the mind very still and concentrated to the Dantian, but the energy will have its own movement and circulation. And this is a natural circulation, okay? So this is also, we can find two different approaches in Taoist meditation work. One, uh, there's the school of active doing, which would be trying to visualize and or even trying to use mind to push energy in certain ways. Then we have the school of non-doing, of, of inaction or stillness, which was how I was taught, where we create a condition where we have built up the energy and we have opened the meridian system. But when we sit, we sit in a, a non-mind, non-active mental state. We try to create a state of single-pointed concentration with the mind. We don't allow the mind to have the imagery or visual gen generally. Sometimes there are slight techniques that we use. So basic, it's a practice trying to enter into mental stillness, mental quietude, and the mental focus. Okay. And so that's just some uh, ideas about uh, Taoist meditation, because I think uh, people who aren't really knowledgeable, if you take this class and we're doing a lot of movements, why are we doing that? Isn't this supposed, aren't we supposed to just be meditating? So the answer is no, not in the beginning. The preparation, and these are basic practices, we really want to master these and really have a very open uh, and refined system, okay, before you just to spend uh, uh, meditating. And so also the, the stillness meditation can be approached with time. So in the beginning, maybe you just, you do these warm-ups and these meridian movements. Then, for example, you can sit 15 minutes or 30 minutes. Don't need to sit a long time. Then later, you really, uh, if you're serious, you really extend the amount of time of the stillness practice, okay. So that's just some some perspective. Okay.